Five years ago, I saw a documentary about the Baja 1000 race in Mexico, 1,000 miles through the unforgiving desert. It's the most extreme off-road race in the world. It's April 30th, 2010 at 8.16 a.m. I'm on my way to buy a class one Baja buggy. Whoa. Tell him to tell him to pull the trigger and transfer the money. I called Howard, I transferred the money. I now own this insane class one buggy. Well, I'm gonna take it on my uh, inaugural voyage. I've done nothing but fantasize about racing the Baja ever since. And by nothing, I mean zero research, zero training, and have talked to exactly zero people who have raced the Baja. There are 27 different classes of vehicles that race in the Baja. I bought a class one, the most extreme, fastest vehicle in the race. How do you adjust them? There's a lot of settings up here. Right, <laughs> it looks pretty fucking intimidating. I wouldn't run the car up over 55. Your spare goes here, here's your lug wrench up here, air filters are right here. What you do is these stops right here, try it with it, Take it off. Don't go with it. That's my opinion, but don't go with it out of that. You got lights right here in case something happened. Uh-huh. I'm kind of intimidated, to be honest. There was a lot, a lot of info, and I'm not sure how I get half the crap that he was telling me I need to buy or where I can get fuel for the thing. Right now, it seems like I just bought a big pain in the ass. Like, I just bought a list of chores. Tell me, this is your first ride in this vehicle, is that correct? Well, no, I did drive it on Los Feliz Boulevard once. All I need to do now is assemble a crew, find a navigator, learn how to drive it, enter some smaller races, get some sponsors, and work my way up to the Baja. The two aces up my sleeve? I have formal comedic improv training and a degree in anthropology. Found out it's about $400 to fill the tank up. <laughs> Hemorrhaging money, the name of the game. See how quick you can get rid of it. <laughs> 